Generator, generator. Caution, caution. Welcome to this training mission, in which we will cover the basics of forward firing air to surface ordnance delivery and practice the use of the gun and rockets. The primary strafing weapon used by the Harrier is the GAL 12U Equalizer, a pneumatically powered, 5 barrel, air cooled 25mm Gatling gun capable of destroying various ground targets, including medium armor at maximum sight range of up to 12,000 feet. The Equalizer is not built into the airframe. Instead, it is carried in a pair of detachable pods mounted under the aircraft's belly, called packs. The gun pack holds the cannon itself, and is mounted with 2 degrees of depression angle intended for ground attack, while the ammunition pack carries up to 325mm rounds in a closed-loop system. Please open the stores page on the left MPCD and have a look at your loadout. You are carrying the gun with full complement of ammunition, 300 rounds. The number of rounds is displayed under the aircraft nose on Station 1. On Stations 2 and 6, you have Lao-10 rocket pods, each carrying Zuni rockets, displayed as S-10. The 5-inch Zuni wraparound folding fin aircraft rocket, or WAFR, was developed for both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground operations, and contained a variety of high explosive, shaped charge, general purpose, and utility payloads. They are more accurate than their smaller 2.75 inch sisters, but you can only carry four of them in each pod. On stations 3 and 5, we have loaded LAO-61 rocket pods containing the standard 2.7 inch AGI Hydra-70 rockets, displayed as S-19. As was mentioned before, they are less accurate than the Zuni, but the lower accuracy is offset by having more rockets that can be fired. The standard way of employing this weapon is in ripple mode. A note on the display. The S after the rocket type denotes the rocket pods being set to single setting. If the ground crew set the pods to ripple, the letter R would be shown instead. Today we will practice gunnery and rocketry using a raked range pattern with a 20 degree dive angle. Please open the kneeboard page for the pattern description. The raked range pattern resembles a racetrack orbit with a 3 nautical mile of beam distance and an IP either located 5 nautical miles from the target for steeper dive angles or 4.5 nautical miles for a 10 degree dive. The procedure is as follows. You will create a waypoint in the vicinity of the targets, ideally within 100 meters, and set the course line to it at required attack heading. You start the pattern flying a beam, or parallel to the course line, 3 nautical miles away from it. On the downwind, you will perform MWSS configuration checks, which stands for Master Arm, Weapons, System, and Sensors. Switch the Master Arm switch to ON. For weapons, you will use your armament panel to set the desired quantity, multiple, and fuse setting. In systems, you switch to AG master mode, then set the map scale and course line. In sensors, you set up the FLIR or TV as required. The IP is 5 nautical miles away from the target. Once you reach it, make a hard turn to the base leg, intercept the course line around 3.5 nautical miles away from the target. When you get there, roll in toward the target and enter a 20 degree dive. After the attack, you will make a max performance pull to the horizon, followed by a 5G level pull across it, ensuring at least 60 degree heading change. After that, you will return to your pattern altitude and start over. Please take off, climb to 8,000 feet MSL, and turn towards waypoint 1. The targets are located at waypoint 2. You will use live ammo during this sortie.
We will first practice using the gun. Please turn on the moving map on your right MPCD and select waypoint 2. You will engage the targets from the south, so use the course knob to set the line to a heading of 180. You will use the right hand pattern for this attack, first overflying the target and then entering the raked range pattern. Set the appropriate map scale for the attack. You should select 25 nautical miles, auto off, with decenter prior to entering the pattern. Do it now. Now turn towards waypoint 2 and intercept the course line south from the waypoint. Then turn towards it and ride it over the target heading north.
Good. Extend 10 miles to the north and then begin a right hand turn until you are flying parallel to the course line, 3 nautical miles away from it, heading south. Please use the white smoke as a reference for 3 miles distance. Perform the MWSS, Master Arm to On. Select the gun by pressing push button 10. If you want, you can set the minimum and maximum range cues for the gun using the UFC and ODU by pressing weapon button and entering the desired values. However, due to the nature of dynamic targeting, this slant range is seldomly used, and you can use AGL rules of thumb to determine when to open fire, cease fire, and break. Switch to the AG master mode and change the map scale to 13 nautical miles with center selected. Verify that the course line is properly set. Finally, select INS as your sensor by pushing the sensor select switch forward once. At night, you would also want to enable your FLIR. Watch the distance from the target. Once you pass it and reach 5 nautical miles, make a hard turn to base leg and try to intercept the course line 3.5 nautical miles away from the target. For training purposes, that point is marked with red smoke. Also, try to visually acquire the trucks you are going to attack.
now roll towards the target and enter a 20 degree dive. Aim and open fire as your altitude crosses 3,000 feet AGL. To shoot the gun, use the trigger with a half or one second burst. Don't wait for the bullets to hit. Break as soon as you reach the recovery altitude. Pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up. Make a max performance pull to the horizon, followed by a 5G level pull across it, ensuring at least a 60 degree heading change. Turn master switch to off, deselect the gun, switch to nav master mode, and return to the pattern altitude and turn towards waypoint 1. Continue towards waypoint 1 and press spacebar when you are ready to begin the next part of the training. We will now practice shooting the Zuni rockets. We will use the left hand raked range pattern and will engage the targets from the north. Select waypoint 2 and set the course line to a heading of 000. We will use the left hand pattern for this attack, first overflying the target and then entering the raked range pattern. Set the map scale for the attack. You should select 25 nautical miles with decenter, auto off prior to entering the pattern. Do it now. Turn towards waypoint 2 and intercept the course line north of the waypoint. Turn towards the target and overfly it, riding the course line south. Good, continue flying straight for 10 miles and then begin a left-hand turn until you are flying parallel to the course line, 3 nautical miles away from it, heading north. There is a white smoke marker exactly 3 miles from the target.
perform the MWSS, Master Arm to On. Select the Zuni rockets by pressing push button 6 on any MPCD. As with the gun, you might want to set the maximum and minimum range HUD cues, although these settings are rarely used. Now a word about the ripple and single settings for the rockets. Ordnance personnel set this on the LOW before the mission. In ripple mode, a single press of the pickle button will release all rockets from the currently selected pod or pods. Their number is governed by the quantity setting. For the single mode, the quantity and multiple options work differently. Quantity tells you how many rockets in total will be released with each press of the button. Multiple determines how many stations will fire. For instance, if you set the quantity to 6 and multiple to 2, then two stations will fire three rockets each. Set these as desired, though you'd normally want to leave it at 1. Zuni rockets are very reliable. Switch to the AG Master Mode and change the map scale to 13 nautical miles with center selected. Verify that the course line is properly set. Finally, select INS as your sensor by pushing the sensor select switch forward once. At night, you would also want to enable your FLIR. Watch the distance from the target. Once you pass it and reach 5 nautical miles, make a hard turn to base leg and try to intercept the course line 3.5 nautical miles away from the target. For training purposes, that point is marked with red smoke. Also, try to visually acquire the trucks you are going to attack. Now roll towards the target and enter a 20 degree dive. Aim and open fire as your altitude crosses 3000 feet AGL. To deploy the rockets, press the pickle button. Don't wait for the rockets to hit the targets. Make a max performance pull to the horizon, followed by a 5G level pull across it, ensuring at least a 60 degree heading change. Turn the master arm switch to off, deselect the rockets, switch to nav master mode, and return to pattern altitude and turn towards waypoint 1. Continue towards waypoint 1 and press spacebar when you are ready to move on to the next part of the training. Time to employ the 2.75 inch hydro rockets. We will use the right hand rake pattern for this run. If it is not already selected, please select waypoint 2 on your left MPCD and set the course line to a heading of 180 as you will engage your targets from the south. You will first overfly the target and then enter the pattern, turning right. Set the appropriate map scale for the attack. You should select 25 nautical miles, auto off, with decenter prior to entering the pattern. Do it now. Now turn towards waypoint 2 and intercept the course line south from the waypoint. 
Then turn towards it and ride it over the target heading north. Extend 10 miles to the north and then begin a right hand turn until you are flying parallel to the course line, 3 nautical miles away from it, heading south. Please use the white smoke as a reference for 3 miles distance. Perform the MWSS, Master Arm to On. Select the rockets by pressing push button 7 on any MPCD. As with the gun, you might want to set the maximum and minimum range HUD cues, although these settings are rarely used. Remember that due to little accuracy of the 2.75 inch rockets, they are usually employed in ripples of a few to maximize their effectiveness. Set the quantity and multiple as desired.
Switch to the AG Master Mode and change the map scale to 13 nautical miles with center selected. Verify that the course line is properly set. Finally, select INS as your sensor by pushing the sensor select switch forward once. At night, you would also want to enable your FLIR. Watch the distance from the target. Once you pass it and reach 5 nautical miles, make a hard turn to base leg and try to intercept the course line 3.5 nautical miles away from the target. For training purposes, that point is marked with red smoke. Also, try to visually acquire the trucks you are going to attack. Now roll towards the target and enter a 20 degree dive. Aim and open fire as your altitude crosses 3,000 feet AGL. To deploy the rockets, press the pickle button. Don't wait for the rockets to hit the targets. Make a max performance pull to the horizon, followed by a 5G level pull across it, ensuring at least a 60 degree heading change. Turn the master arm switch to off, deselect the rockets, switch to nav master mode, and return to pattern altitude and turn towards waypoint 1. There is an option to also make a hot gun run with both the rockets and the gun selected. In order to enter this mode, keep the rockets selected but also press push button 10. The gun should now be boxed on the left MPCD and you should see a gun cross above the rocket pimper on your HUD at the bore sight. When making your attack run, you can use the pickle button to fire the rockets and press the trigger to shoot the gun simultaneously. A hot gun mode can also be enabled with other weapons delivered in CCIP mode. This concludes this training session. Expand the rest of your ordnance. When ready, return to the home plate and land.
Pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up. Dodge, one, one, inbound.
Welcome back to Cavalini. Taxi to the parking spot and shut down the jet. Thank <laughs> you. 